Financial data analysis and algorithmic trading are handled with several Python libraries. The following are brief explanations of the roles of each imported library. 1. Collections.defaultDict. This library returns a default value when a key is missing. Using it, you could store and organize financial data effectively, where the keys reflect identifiable measures like dates or asset symbols, and the values represent the corresponding variables. The NumPy package provides support for large multidimensional arrays and matrices, along with high-level mathematical functions to work on these arrays. A trading algorithm can use NumPy to apply numerical analysis to price data and other financial indicators. It is especially suitable to work with tabular data like stock prices that can be imported as pandas as PD. In order to prepare data for trading decisions, pandas can be used to manage time series data, clean data, calculate statistics, and perform other tasks. A plotting library, matplotlib.piplot, is used for making a wide variety of graphs and charts. Trading algorithms can use it to visualize financial information, such as stock price trends, indicators, or even the performance of trading strategies. It is a function in the SciPy library, which is used to do scientific computing and technical computing. In trading, the argrel extrema function helps identify local maxima and minima in price data, indicative of potential turning points or support and resistance levels in price data. 6. StatsModels.NonParametric.Kernel Regression Kernel Reg. This submodule from StatsModels provides non-parametric kernel regression functionality. Trading could use this method to fit a smooth curve to price data to identify trends without assuming the curve has a specific parametric form. Yahoo Financials Yahoo Financials. This module gets financial data from Yahoo Finance. The platform allows you to access a huge amount of financial data, including stock prices, financial statements, and other market data for analyzing and deciding what to do with your portfolio. The code is intended to set up a computer environment with all the tools necessary for developing algorithmic trading strategies. In this context, we mean retrievals, manipulations, statistical analysis, and visualizations of data. Despite the code block's lack of any specific strategy, it provides the libraries that support the development of such strategies. This code snippet appears to define variables for a date range and a stock identifier intended for algorithmic trading. The stock data should be analyzed or traded over a period from 2017-001 to 2017-1231, which is the specified start and end dates. As the stock code variable, Facebook Inc. is set to FB, the ticker symbol of the stock. Within the specified date range, the trading algorithm would perform operations such as data analysis, trading signals, or actual trades in this stock symbol. The purpose of this code is to establish the fundamental parameters for a trading algorithm, the targeted time frame, and the specific stock being traded. Variables will eventually be used in the code to fetch historical data, perform financial analyses, and backtest trading strategies. For any trading system focusing on stock markets, these parameters are crucial inputs for evaluating historical performance and executing real-time trades. For algorithmic trading, preprocessed data is a Python function defined in the provided Python code. There are three parameters in this function, start date, end date, and stock code, which specify the time range and stock type. The primary objective of this function is to retrieve historical stock prices from a financial data service, in this case, Yahoo Financials, within a specified date range for a given stock. Fetchings include a full range of financial information, including daily stock prices, opening, high, and low prices, as well as adjusted closing prices. After obtaining the data, it is organized into a pandas data frame, a data structure that simplifies the manipulation and analysis of tabular data in Python. By selecting important columns from the raw data and rearranging them, the code first gets a better idea of what data is important. A better readability and conformity with common financial data standards is achieved by renaming the columns. The function returns the processed data frame along with two series one-dimensional arrays that include the closing prices and the dates where they occurred. In addition to identifying trends, these data could also be used for calculating indicators or as inputs for algorithms used in trading. By structuring the function in a clean and reusable way, algorithmic trading strategies are able to obtain and organize stock data. Here's a Python code snippet that calls preprocessed data, which takes three arguments, start date, end date, and stock code. Data from the stock market is likely to be processed for algorithmic trading purposes by this function. This function retrieves and prepares the stock data necessary for algorithmic analysis. In order to assign variables df, prices, and dates, the preprocessed data function returns three pieces of information, 
an abbreviation for data frame, a data structure used for storing tabular data, is DF. In this file, you will likely find processed stock data, including opening, closing, high, and low prices for each trading day within the specified range of dates. A price array or series represents the adjusted closing prices of the stock for each day within the date range. Data like this is typically used when making trading decisions. For every price point, there is likely to be an array or series that contains corresponding dates. The prices would be referenced using these dates. In general, the code sets up the necessary data to conduct algorithmic trading analysis or strategies on a specific stock. These preprocessed data are heavily relied upon by algorithmic traders in order to automatically make trading decisions based on predefined rules or models. Python code is provided for setting the index for two sets of data, prices and dates, that appear to relate to financial data. Using Nadarea Watson kernel regression, this could be part of an algorithmic trading system. A specific function of the code is to make the prices and dates data re-indexed so that their indices begin at 1 and increase linearly in length. In the price and date series, the index for each element starts at 1 and increases by 1 up to the total number of elements in each series. It is possible that setting the index starting from 1 is a requirement for the algorithm being implemented. The kernel regression function used later in the code might require this indexing format. Having consistent and linear indices simplifies calculations or conforms to the analysis steps in an algorithmic trading strategy for further analysis. It is part of an algorithmic trading system that the Python code snippet works with. An important aspect of its functionality is the analysis of financial asset prices and the identification of local maxima and minima, which can be invaluable to traders. The code employs a kernel regression model in order to smooth out cyclical fluctuations in prices, allowing significant trends to be more easily detected. Using an algorithm that identifies points where the price curve changes direction based on the smoothed price data, the code searches for relative maxima and minima within this smooth time series. The code attempts to map these extremes back to the original, non-smooth price data after finding these extrema in the smooth data. It does this by examining a small window around each extreme point in the smooth data and determining which price is highest or lowest within that window. These are the true local maxima and minima. After the smoothing and windowing processes have taken place, the code organizes these points into a cohesive output removing any duplicates that may exist both at maximum and minimum. It is possible to use this result to identify entry and exit points for trades by identifying potential trend reversals or continuations. In addition to its use in code, the code might also be used in a larger strategy to trigger buy or sell signals based on these findings. There is a code snippet providing a call to a function named findMaxMin with an argument called prices that is most likely a list or array of historical prices. Several useful pieces of information can be obtained from this function when analyzing financial market data for trading. Possibly, smooth prices contain smoothed versions of the price data to remove noise and make trends easier to identify. There are various techniques available for smoothing, including moving averages and other algorithms. Variables smooth prices max indices and smooth prices min indices likely represent the positions of the smooth price indexes within the list of local maxima and minima. When the price reaches these levels, it is critical to recognize potential buy or sell signals before the price reverses direction. As with the previous variables, price max indices and price min indices are calculated from raw, unsmoothed prices. For confirmation, these points can be compared with smoothed counterparts or might be used in different parts of a trading strategy. Finally, max min might be an array or list that contains information on the identified maxima and minima, possibly combining smoothed and unsmoothed data for use in determining whether to enter or exit a position based on local price extremes. This code analyzes financial price data, identifies peak points and dips, and prepares data to be used in algorithmic trading. As part of a larger technical analysis system, it can be used to automate trading activities based on historical price patterns. There are several specific operations that this Python code performs on a variable named maxmin, which appears to be related to an algorithmic trading context. As a first step, we use the built-in len function on maxmin. In this case, len calculates the number of elements within a list of data in the form of price maxima and minima over time or another interpretable data set. This produces an immediate indication of the size of maxmin after calculating the number of elements. Maxmin is invoked in the second operation by calling the head method. In libraries which manipulate data such as pandas, 
This method displays the first rows of a data frame or series. For larger data sets, this is especially useful for quickly checking their structure and content. This function displays the first five rows by default, although it can take an optional parameter that specifies the number of rows to display. Its purpose is to provide a quick overview of the max-min dataset being used in algorithmic trading. By displaying the first few entries to give an idea of the data's contents and format, followed by the number of data points available. As part of broader analytic procedures, it analyzes and interprets financial data. As part of algorithmic trading, Python code is used for visualizing financial data. The program produces a plot showing a financial asset's actual and smoothed prices over time. Using matplotlib, a popular Python plotting library, it draws lines using a figure and an axis object. Using a rolling average or another method that reduces market noise, the code plots both the actual and smooth prices with distinct line styles. The plot also shows locations of local maxima and minima in actual and smooth price data, possibly identifying trade entry and exit signals. To differentiate maxima and minima, larger symbols are used and distinct colors are used. In addition, the timeline is shown on the x-axis at regular intervals to make it more clear. The chart's legend explains the plot elements and a grid helps analyze price movements over time. In general, the purpose of this code is to aid traders in making informed decisions by providing a graphical representation of price trends and significant turning points. This Python code is for a function that visualizes financial trading data, specifically to help with algorithmic trading analyses. Plot window is a function that generates a line graph that shows both actual and smooth prices over time. The smoothing will likely help identify trends and filter out noise. There are a number of key points that can be distinguished on the plot. Colors and sizes are used to identify the local maxima and minima highs and lows for both actual and smoothed price curves. Trading strategies often look to these critical points as they can signal reversals or continuations of trends. Furthermore, you can specify within the larger data set a window of time start to end that will allow you to view a subset of the data. For clarity, a legend and a grid accompany the display of dates on the x-axis. Summary, plot window aims at improving traders' ability to understand market data clearly and identify crucial points for trading decisions, which is common practice for algorithmic trading strategies to optimize buying and selling strategies. Python's plot window function shows price movements over a specified period of time, focusing on price movements over a distinct time period defined by dates. Multiple arguments are accepted by the function. Dates, most likely an array or list of dates or time points related to the trading. An observation of the actual trading prices at each date or point in time. The smooth prices version removes noise and highlights trends by using a mathematical smoothing technique like moving averages or savitsky gole filters. Smooth prices max indices and smooth prices min indices, indices of local maximum and minimum in smooth price data that could indicate resistance levels and support levels. Prices max indices and prices min indices are also indices indicating the maxima and minima observed in actual observations. A start and end parameter allows the user to zoom into a specific window between index positions 18 and 34 of the larger dataset. In matplotlib, the axe parameter specifies the axes object to use to plot on an existing figure or subplot. In algorithmic trading, this code displays price data alongside its smoothed counterpart so that trends can be analyzed and important points such as peaks and troughs in both the original and smoothed series can be identified. In addition to helping traders set up stop-loss orders and understand the market dynamics during a specified time frame, this can aid them in making decisions about entry and exit points as well as providing an overview of how the trading strategy might have performed historically, the visualization could be used as a tool for backtesting. An algorithmic trading system uses Python code to find and classify various chart patterns based on financial data. A pandas data frame max min containing the maxima and minima points of a price series is used as input for the function find patterns. Iterates over the entries in the data frame, taking five data points into account at the same time. First, it determines if the pattern occurs in less than 36 days for each five-point window. The next window opens if not. There are several types of technical analysis chart patterns. Head and shoulders HS, inverse head and shoulders IHS, broadening top B-top, broadening bottom BBO, triangle top T-top, triangle bottom t bot, rectangle top R-top, and rectangle bottom Arbon. A pattern is identified based on the relative positions and values of these local maximum and minimum points following specific rules that correspond to the well-known characteristics of the pattern. Each pattern detected is stored in a dictionary, 
with the pattern name as the key, and the starting and ending indexes of the window as the value. These index tuples are stored in the dictionary at the end of each pattern. As a result, the dictionary is returned, giving an overview of all the patterns found in the price series over the specified time frame. A code like this can be useful in algorithmic trading when it automatically detects patterns historically associated with certain market behaviors, allowing traders to make informed decisions based on the presence of these patterns. Python code snippets you've provided are likely related to algorithmic trading, which involves financial data pattern recognition. 1. MaxMin contains key points in market data, such as maximum and minimum prices over a given period. A support and resistance level or other significant market movements could be identified with these points. It appears that Find Patterns Max Min analyzes the Max Min data to identify trading patterns. You may want to look for well-known patterns such as head and shoulders, double tops and bottoms, or more complex combinations of price movements. As a result, Patterns is assigned Find Patterns Max Min's result, which implies that it contains patterns from market data. Trading data is analyzed automatically to identify technical analysis patterns that traders can use to determine whether to enter or exit positions. After capturing the results in patterns, an algorithm can be used to execute trades based on the identified patterns to achieve profit. Code snippet provided defines a dictionary called shorthand full name dict. The dictionary maps shorthand notations to the full descriptive names of chart patterns. It can be mapped to head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, etc. As part of algorithmic trading, chart patterns are used for technical analysis, where traders use price history to predict future market movements. The dictionary will serve as a lookup reference for traders to interpret shorthand notations of chart patterns and translate them into understandable terms, possibly for reporting, logging, or further analysis of patterns. Dictionary lookups in Python provide fast access to pattern names by using dictionaries for this purpose. Detailed data analysis can be particularly useful for a trading algorithm that needs to process and analyze large volumes of data quickly. Financial trading data can be visualized using the provided Python function. Using historical trends and patterns, it can be used to make decisions based on historical patterns and to analyze and plot price data. When called, the function takes several arguments including actual and smoothed price data, local maxima and minima indices, a collection of identified patterns along with a dictionary that maps shorthand pattern names to full descriptions. This function prints out the name of the pattern and how often it occurred for each pattern identified in the data. This function creates a graphic display of these patterns using subplots. A pattern is plotted over a certain date range for both the original price data and the smooth price data. For each individual subplot, it uses a helper function called plot window. It is possible to visualize when and how these patterns occurred along the provided price data timeline when the function presents the resulting figure to the user. By observing and analyzing the presence and frequency of such patterns, traders can make informed decisions. It provides visualization capabilities for stock price data points by using the Python function Visualize Patterns. A few parameters are added to the formula. Dates, the specific timestamps or dates for which data is available. Pricing raw trading prices according to the provided dates. It likely removes noise and short-term volatility for better analysis, whereas smooth prices is a smooth version of the price data. A smooth price index can be determined as the indices position in the array of data where the smooth price reaches its maximum. The smooth prices below local minima valleys are called smooth prices min indices. Price max indices are similar to smooth prices max indices, but for raw, unsmooth price data. For raw price data, price min indices is similar to smooth prices min indices. Potential trading patterns identified in price data can be used as inputs for trading decisions. The shorthand full name dict is a dictionary that translates shorthand pattern labels into their full descriptive names, thus making it easier to recognize patterns and interpret them. This function creates a visual representation of the price data, its smooth counterpart, and the patterns identified against the temporal axis. Visualizations would assist traders and algorithms in identifying and understanding significant price movements and trading signals, providing insights that can be used to generate trading strategies. This article does not detail the specific methods of visualizing price data, but it would generally require plotting the price data and highlighting critical events such as highs and lows. To summarize, Visualize Patterns appears to be a tool for graphically analyzing stock price movements and algorithmically identified patterns. 
facilitating a more intuitive understanding of market behavior over time, which is essential to algorithmic trading.